So you think Pickwick's going to be a slugfest like it normally is, or is it just going to be a little more of a grind? Somebody will get on them. I mean, they always do. With this many boats out here, somebody's going to find them. Yeah, and the fish are really schooled up right now, so once you get a school fired up, it's a school of big fish. Somebody can really whack a big bag really quickly. We found a big school here on Sunday, and uh, it started out at like 50 fish. And then I came back Monday, and it was like 150 fish. And then Tuesday, it was like 350 fish. It just kept getting bigger and bigger. And we've caught some decent fish. Oh, it's my bad. We've caught some uh, pretty good fish out of it. Threes and a couple fours. But uh, we're hoping we can get them to bite this morning. That boat's from our team and then that other boat's from our team. Yeah, these three, all three boats right here are from Tennessee. I mean, as a team, you're supposed to help each other and we always, we always stay connected with each other, like especially during practice and stuff, to help one another out. Say if, if one person finds a pattern, then we'll, we'll share with each other to try to get on some better fish. The thing is though, we all found, we all three found this school separately. Yeah. We got back to the camper one night and was talking about fish and we all realized we were all on the same fish. We've, uh, we've been catching a lot on this bait the past few days. That's a, that's a good start, it's about a three. Oh man. Let's not skip that first fish off our back. They're out here on this ledge sack. Just had to throw a few different things at them to figure out what they want. Baby, bro. Fish. You got it? Yep. Feels like good. Oh, God. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do this. No! That was a big one, that was a five. That one hurts a lot. It that's part of fishing, that's why I call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> Get it in there. Well, might be a keeper. That's their third keeper of the morning. Yeah. That's so. two boats we know got fish. That's uh, Ben Bates and Ethan Wolf. And Ethan Wolf actually plays football for UT. He's a what tight end? Yeah, he's a tight end. He's a tight end. It's a great feeling to know that you got teammates catching fish as well as you. Especially since this is a double points event. Yeah, we need two boats to do really well because. It's Logan Brewster. And a big one. I guess that it was on a ledge hog if I had to. Yeah, it's Logan Brewster and Ben Dodson. Got him? Yep. Yeah, buddy. That's five. Come on, come here. Wait. Come on. I'd say 
that's the keeper. Yep. Fish number five. That's a limit. Now we just gotta start culling. Well, we've got five keepers and we need some bigger fish. Tristan? Got him? Yep. Feels like a good Dang, that right side live wheel, I don't think it's pumped. I'm gonna need five of these. They got one. Did that live wheel come on? I didn't turn it on. Not, you have to Is hit the on? motor in reverse. Oh. Put, oh. That's what I like about these things. Look at this paint color. When it started out, it was just silver. It's got green under it, and it's like a powder coat, and as it wears, it turns like a green. And they love it. Oh, I gotta bend my hook back, too. Yeah. That'd be the one that I hook a big one on. Nip that and bent that hook out. Tristan went down the river. Come on, man. Get him. <laughs> I hope the big one. They're throwing this way. Oh, what's the three pounder? Good. Oh, did it come off? Uh -huh. Oh, I, I didn't see it from there. Gotta call it out, bro. Heck, I thought you heard the drag. No, I had my head stuck down in that hole. Fat. Look at his back. Look at that. Yep, barely hooked. Skin hooked. I don't know if it'll help nothing. Yeah, I'll get it, go ahead. I don't, he ain't gonna help nothing. What's it, what is he? 15 and a quarter. No, we don't have anything else that's on 15. The rest of them are longer than that. Yeah, we got a really good start. Uh, it's a lot better than I thought we were going to have coming into this because we had a tough practice. We didn't catch a whole lot of fish in practice. We caught a few decent ones, but nothing special. But uh, we pulled in on the spot and we'd caught a few, so I knew there was fish here. I just didn't know how they would bite. They, but they've been pretty good for us this morning. We've got, we got some decent fish in the box. We'll just have to get some more. They're here. Next up from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Bradley and Saxton. All right, here we go. Five that'll weigh in at 1282. 1282. What kind of practice did you have? Ah, uh, well, we scanned for four days. That's about it. Just who drive? Who does the driving? He does. Do you ever doze off while he's scanning? I did a few times. Yeah. For some reason, that, the guy sitting in the passenger side cannot stay focused. Oh, let me tell you, he fell asleep in the floorboard about three hours every day. <laughs> Just let you go at it. Yeah, I about fell asleep too. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that scanning can take it out of you guys. We'll see you in the morning.